What's up guys, Solar here from Pixstats, so uh, I just unboxed just a few minutes ago the Mega ADK for Android, it has not been plugged in yet, so more people can follow along with me if you guys are, you know, conscious that you do not want to mess up your device. So, in the uh, developer.android.com site, you can get all the files you need for the uh, operation for this device and all the stuff software you have to load onto it. It's very simple, very easy. I'll show you guys to do this anyway. The first thing you want to do is install the Arduino software, and that's very simple. Just go to Arduino.com and download it right off their site. Now, what you also need is CapSense, which is a capacitive sensing library. There, if you get the ADK, the the actual Google one that they released at Google I/O 2011, and they'll give you a board with it and on it there's a capacitive Android button so you're gonna need it even though if you don't have it uh, the library will call for it and you will not be able to export this to your Arduino device without this library and lastly you also need the ADK software package which is also linked up so first thing load up the Arduino software very simple it's a very small software nothing too big Alright, so you're already in sketches programs for the Arduino unknown of sketches. So we are in the main Arduino uh, coding box. You can write all your code here. You can go to file, uh, examples, basics, and the blink light, and then there you go. There's your code. So it's very simple, very easy to use. Take the ADK software package you downloaded and paste it into here. Right click and use whatever extracting software you use and extract it to a folder and mine actually has a duplicate so I'm just going to quickly rename that. Go into it and now you should have these files right there. Now go back to the original Arduino folder and we're just going to paste the CapSense directory here. There's the CapSense. You're going to take these two files, so you're going to copy them and go to the Arduino uh, main folder, go to properties and it's installed in that right there so when you installed it here's my installation of Arduino you can go into libraries and paste the contents and you're gonna do the same for CapSense so Arduino accessory CapSense and USB host shield should all be in the Arduino uh, place where you extracted that folder so what we're gonna do here is this is my first time with the Mega ADK though not with Arduino definitely not you're going to plug it in, like so, the lights, mean LED, and your device is not installed. This usually happens with a new first time Arduino board plugging in to your machine, any Arduino board, even if you had them before, uh, it'll be known as an other device, It doesn't. the computer cannot install the drivers for it, cannot find them. So what you do is, when you go into device manager, just type in device manager start menu, you'll see that one is bad and I just installed it and when it's unknown you're just gonna right click and go to update driver software click browse my computer and go to the same place where you installed the Arduino um, program but just go to the drivers folder just select the drivers folder and click on next and it will find them for you so like this one found that it was a ADK R3 so when you're done with that go back into Arduino go to tools serial port and like we said over there COM4 and select it so now the Arduino software is in line with my actual Mega ADK make sure you set what are you using go to tools board and Mega 2560 or Mega ADK where ours is the Mega ADK we're just going to select that so this is the really easy part all you have to do is go into files like we did earlier examples go down to Android accessory and then demo kit Simple as that, and here are all your, this is your entire code for the Mega ADK, simple enough. Alright, and now it's done, you're just going to go to sketch, verify and compile. Now, if you didn't install the capacitive sense uh, library, then this will fail. And so, it seems to be good right now because I didn't install it. See, done compiling. And now, the easiest part is just to upload it, so we're going to up file upload that's uploading it to the Arduino you can see the one lights rapidly blinking so you does see data transfer it has stopped and you can see over here it says done uploading use your Android device now 
what Google is telling you to do in the actual guide is to download Eclipse, which is a full, which is an application, brilliant application, and I could show it to you guys, but um, you can just design iPhone apps and uh, Android apps, that is, and you make the app to work with the Arduino Mega ADK and then transfer it over to your Android device. Now, the easier way to do it is to go into uh, is to go into the Play Store and actually load up, um, download the ADK demo kit, and you have this message. And our phone isn't connected yet. Our board isn't connected to the phone yet. And that is how you will be able to uh, connect to us. You don't have to skip the entire Eclipse portion. It's very nice. All right. So I connected the tripod. So you guys can see this better. And so here is the. Uh, USB cable for the connection to my phone to the board. Um, keynote, keep the USB plugged in from the computer. This is the power for the Arduino. Your phone will not be powering this device. So what we're going to do first here is connect the USB to the Arduino uh, Mega ADK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take your Android phone. If you're wondering, this is the One X. It's going to say that connect an ADK board. So here's the port from when to connect it. And what do you know guys? Here is the Mega ADK. And here are all the sliders that you guys uh were looking for. So you can control all of these right on uh the device when you have plug all your stuff in. Then you can use the ADK they show just like in IO 2011. So that's my tutorial guys. This is sorry for pick sets. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This was installing the using the Mega ADK and controlling it from your Android device. Swipe so like that.